welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and today we're going to do an unboxing. Now, I have a confession to make. <laughs> when I buy Diamond Art Club diamond paintings, I usually have to buy two to get the free shipping. So I tend to get one that is an absolute must-have and then one that's on my wish list. And uh, the confession is that I've actually got three diamond paintings that I forgot about. <gasps> I know, how could I possibly? And they are so fabulous that when I went into my stash, I couldn't believe that I haven't shared these with you already. Now, I'm not going to show all three in one video. I'm going to split them up into separate videos. So this is the Forgotten Paintings series. <laughs> This one is number one kit and the title itself just gives me such a thrill. So let's have a look what I've got to show you today. This one is a round diamond painting kit that I've had since I think it was June 23 and it is called Aura of the Dragonfly. <gasps> Isn't that fabulous? And there are some really gorgeous diamonds in here as well. So let's open this one up. It has got some diamonds that I've not seen before or had before, so I'm excited to explore that. Let's get the box open straight away. Okay, open up the box. Here we have our diamond painting and our toolkit and the little sticker that I will immediately put into my logbook <laughs> because what I'm finding is that I have got some paintings in my stash that I'm forgetting about so I need to use my logbook a lot better than what I am currently so that one is going straight into my logbook. All right, toolkit. Let's see what we've got this time. Tip it all out. Okay, so we've got a white funnel tray, one of the deeper sized new ones that Diamond Art Club are providing for us with the stopper. And we've got some baggies, spare baggies, usually about 25 to 30, somewhere around there. We've got a diamond painting pen, this time in orange, with an orange squidgy to match. And you push your squidgy onto the diamond pen, push it up where you hold your diamond pen, and it provides comfort whilst you're diamond painting. We also get two multi-placers a four placer and a seven placer to go on the other end of your diamond painting pen. We get a caddy of pink wax, two heart shaped slabs in there. And if you keep the lid on, it keeps it nice and fresh. Then we have a cover minder, this time being a little macaroon in lime green. <laughs> and the magnets on the back you slide off Pop one on the top of your protective cover when you peel that down and one under your canvas to hold the cover back while you're diamond painting. And we get some washi tape and I've got a nice green design crosses. Like little green kisses. Oh, another washi tape to add to my collection. So really good toolkit from Diamond Art Club. Oh, now then, normally I would say, and a pair of tweezers, but of course this one is a round diamond painting kit, so you don't get tweezers in a round kit. Okay, I'm going to open this one up and have a good look at the picture. Aura of the Dragonfly. Love that title. Okay, we're opening from top down on this one and already look at the colours. Oh, 
Now, Diamond Art Club canvases are really soft, really good quality. They have the perforated edges to stop any fraying. They have the soft backing and they do self flatten. So usually you don't have to pop this under any weight for it to flatten out. It will do that of its own accord gradually. And here we have our dragonfly. Look at the glow, the rainbow glow around. <gasps> It's like psychedelic colours, this one, with the crescent moon and star details at the top. And the aurora is obviously like the northern lights behind the dragonfly coming down into the feathery dream catcher style at the bottom with all of those psychedelic colours in the background, those swathes of different really beautiful colours. Lots of colour blocking in this one, in that background, and the feathers themselves, not too bad at all. Let's have a look at the dragonfly wings. Yep, still plenty of colour blocking in the wings with just little parts of confetti here and there, but mainly colour blocked really beautiful colours. There we are. An assortment, aren't they? And look at the detail from the feathers hanging down with like those jewel, twinkle jewel stones and then the dragonfly tail. And I have to say, I love feathers. Anytime I find a feather, I do think it's a little bit of a gift. And... Um, so to have them in this diamond painting as a dream catcher is lovely. Now, the dragon wings have got the details within the colour. It is a bit, it reminds me a little bit of a tie-dye psychedelic wing with the details and the colours there. And you can see here the veining there are lots of veins throughout, but it's done in, a, in not a random way, in a patterning that mirrors each other either side. We have also got some patterning here in the background with that ring of a rainbow circle up towards this wonderful crescent moon in different colours here. And there's star details sparkling in the sky. Right, let's have a look at the diamonds. So we get an instruction leaflet, tips and tricks, as well as step-by-step -step instructions. And if you'd like that as a video, there is a scan code there to scan that in and watch the video if you are just getting started or want to see the tips and tricks. There is also a VIP Facebook group that you can scan to join too. With Diamond Art Club, we get a lovely sticker sheet here with a really beautiful big sticker. Now, I tend to use these for other things rather than in my logbook. I will put this one in my logbook and use that one elsewhere. However, if you're going to store your diamond painting, you may want to use this little one on the box so you can see what's inside easily and then perhaps pop this one in your logbook. The choice is yours. It's got all the details on it of the title of the diamond painting, the artist, a start date and end date, the diamond shape, round in this case, and the size. This one, 50.7 centimetres by 69 centimetres, and you also have the SKU code. On this side of the sticker sheet, we've got the pre-cut stickers ready to kit up into the storage, and we've got the number of the diamond. We've got the symbol being a mix of numbers, letters and symbols. And then we've got the colour code, which is the DMC colour code. If you want to store your diamonds afterwards or in case you have an issue and have run out of diamonds and need to contact Diamond Art Club under their lifetime warranty. In this kit, we've got 62 colours a really beautiful mix of colours in here, 
really gorgeous like a rainbow as you could probably expect. At the bottom here we've got three Z codes which means there are three fairy dust diamonds in this kit and we've got four now I think that's probably four AB but I do know that this kit includes some glow in the dark so this is where the glow in the dark is new to me so perhaps they are the glow in the dark diamonds we'll find out as we have a look now here are the diamonds with their labels so if you do want to store your diamonds separately from your canvas then you know which diamonds relate to which canvas Here is the pack of colours. We'll do a quick run through and then find those fairy dusts and then we will try and see which ones are glow in the dark. Starting with the biggest packs first, we've got lots of dark blue, purple, black, blue, blue, purple. <laughs> a little bit of green there, purple, we've got an AB yellow, a, that's like um, a purple brown colour, more purple, E, ooh, E310, now that's a new one on me, so is that a glow in the dark, an E number, I wasn't expecting black glow in the dark, Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, that's exciting. A bright green, a fairy dust, pale blue, gorgeous. A 155, and that doesn't look like, yeah, so 155 purple and 340 as a paler purple. Another dark blue, a brown, a beautiful pink AB. Wow, those colours are absolutely firing out of there. Can you see that on camera? Wow, gorgeous. Brown, brown, a br another bright green, light blue, orange, brown, purple, green, dusky purple, yellow, a really subtle AB yellow, but the sparks of colour coming off that one too, again, stunning. Purple, now here we've got a fairy dust lime green, gorgeous, a reddy brown, an AB, bright pale blue, mid blue and another blue, lots of blues in this case. Blues and purples. Another purple, purple. We've got a grey, two greys, another blue, a pink, a, ooh, mm, that's like a coral red. Two browns, another green, another orange, a cranberry, lilac, mm, mid teal I would call that. Orange, blue, minty green, brown, dark green, and a fairy dust white. Then we've got, oh now you see, that's another E code. Maybe these are the glows, the glow in the darks, this one being a bright blue, pale blue, mid blue, green and brown. So I was really expecting the glow in the dark to be kind of the greens. I don't know why. I think it's because, you know, the glow in the dark from the 80s was tends to be the greens and yellows. So really interesting that it's blue and black. 796 and three tens glow in the dark. I'm sure that's what the E code must mean. Right, let's see where they are on the painting. 
So before we look for the symbols of where these sit, just look at what we've got. We've got two glow in the dark, we've got three fairy dust colours and we've got four ABs in this kit. How amazing is that? A really nice selection along with those beautiful usual diamonds to sparkle out from the canvas. Really good different finishes in this one. Right, we're going to start, I think, with finding out where the glow in the dark sits because they do have the same numbers, obviously like 310. So what areas differentiate for the glow in the dark? Let's find out. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, so the three, the usual 310 is the dot. So all in the sky are the dots. And then the E310 are the three dots in a triangle and they go around the dragonfly. <laughs> Such fun. And through the wing here and then around the crescent moon. So that means once the lights go down, <laughs> it means that that will still show in the dark, I'm sure. I've never used them before and I'm really excited about trying this to see what the effect is when the lights go down. So they sit on the, on the outline of the dragonfly. Now the seven, nine, six is the double wave and that is in the wing detail. So around here, there's little areas within the wing inner that are the double wave, seven, nine, six. And then we've got the glow in the dark, seven, nine, six, which is K. And they go around the outside of the wing so that during the day it will look the same colour and then again when the lights go down that area of wing you'll still be able to see shine through. Fingers crossed, hopefully, if it works. <laughs> so a really lovely detail there. Now we're going to find, so let, hang on a minute, let's leave those there, those there and let's find the ABs next. So we've got 113, which is number one symbol. And you can already see around the outside of the dragonfly wing with this super, super colour of AB. Next, we've got 120, which is the turquoise AB. I think that's going to be around the wing as well. Yes. So that is going to be around, uh -huh. so we've got pink, we've got turquoise, we'll have number four, which is 130, in between these two around the whole wing. I think you can easily see where they're going to be. So blue, yellow, pink. And then we have this really pretty yellow, a soft yellow AB, which is number three. And that is in the crescent moon and in this crescent behind the moon, the dragonfly body and in some of the feather detail here too. Looking at the feather here, we've also got some number fours in there. And we've got number three as the glint in that jewel. And that jewel is also the E310 as well as that one there. <laughs> Such fun. Okay, so now we've got the fairy dust diamonds still to go. Let's get these ones. So we've got the Z code, this equal symbol, for the lime green, let's find those. Yep, either side of the dragonfly wing. Next we have the turquoise fairy dust being a slash symbol. All around here,
along the butterfly wing in between the yellow and blue ABs. Then we've got some in this crescent behind the moon and the moon itself, as well as the ding of the stars. And looking at that, we've also got that number 2AB there as well. Lots of beautiful little touches here. And the last fairy dust, the white, is a little tiny square. So find out where they are. So we've got some of these in the top of the body of the dragonfly. We've got some in the middle part of his body. And we've got some in the stars. Now, I just want to pull this down a little bit to explore these stars a bit more. Because looking closer, there are ABs twinkling from that sky as well. So we've got these ones here. Then we've got the blue in the cross there and dotted about as well as in this one and dotted about we've got the yellow in places along here for the stars and we've got the number three within there as well and the pink in certain little spots along here as well like usually on the edge there so lots of little touches here, there and everywhere with the different finishes. I think that's so exciting. Honestly, I am absolutely thrilled. And because it is a lot of colour blocking, I think this one will be quick to work up as well. Really lovely, lovely design. What a really colourful, different diamond painting this is. I'm absolutely thrilled with it and I hope that you like it too. Let me know if you've worked on this one. Thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and please do consider subscribing. It's always a joy to hear from you all and I really hope that you've enjoyed exploring this kit with me. Until next time, enjoy your own diamond painting. Keep sparkling everybody and take care. Bye for now.